So close your eyes and you will find that you've arrived in Frankenstein. As kids, these shows made us afraid to go to sleep. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 spooky children's shows. All right. One last hand. For this list, we'll be looking at the popular creepy television shows that are geared specifically towards children. <laughs> Number 10, Beetlejuice. Hey babes, that was a good one. A birthday present that really stinks. For those familiar with the movie, the Beetlejuice television series was a worthy spin-off, just with a much lighter tone and more kid-friendly themes. Beetlejuice, something strange is going on. Strange? No way, babes, nothing strange ever happens to me. Following the titular ghost and his adventures in the Neitherworld with his goth friend Lydia Dietz, the series features all the monsters, ghosties, ghoulies, and zombies you'd expect from a Tim Burton cartoon. Repeat after me. Shop. So you freak at the spooky boutique. Since Burton was involved in the creative process, the show retained the offbeat charm and supernatural infusion present in the film. That made the series a hit. It lasted four seasons and even won a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Animated Program. For 80s babies, animated Beetlejuice was impossible to ignore, avoid, or not to be at least kind of scared of. <laughs> well, 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 just what I was looking for. Number 9, The Real Ghostbusters. Something strange in the neighborhood. Who you gonna call? This cartoon, based on our favorite paranormal investigators, was a phenomenon in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh oh, this looks bad. Obviously, riding on the success of the movie, the animated series caught the attention of children everywhere and became a revenue generating machine. Fun's over. You want me? Come get me. Sillier and goofier than the 1984 film, but still spooky by kid standards thanks to the Ghosts of the Week, the show aired on ABC for seven seasons. And the merchandise licensing was extensive. A line of real Ghostbusters toys was released that was just as successful as the show. While Slimer was was even featured on High Seas Ecto Cooler Drink until 1997. With witty jokes and the occasional scare, it's no mystery why an animated Ghostbusters show would be popular among kids of the 80s and 90s. Remind me to never put marshmallows in my hot cocoa again. Number 8, The Addams Family. Oh, darling, it's Halloween time. How can you just lie there on the floor silently what? writhing in <laughs> agony? There have been several takes on The Addams Family over the years, but today is the 90s animated version's chance to shine. They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky, they're all together kooky, The Addams Family. It lasted two seasons, featured all the regular characters, and even had John Astin from the original live action series reprising his role as Gomez. Well, evidently you have not only a hard head, you have hard hair. Produced by Hanna-Barbera, the animated Adams Family possessed the quirkiness and spookiness that the franchise is known for. Although it was significantly less macabre since it was made for children. Come on, Pugsley. Hold it, Wednesday. I'm working my way over to those spikes in the corner. Following the success of the first Adams Family feature film, the series was embraced by a fresh generation of kids, proving you can't go wrong with Gomez, Morticia, Wednesday, Pugsley, Uncle Fester, Cousin It, Lurch, and the rest of the family in any medium. Look what I found! Say, where'd you get him? He crawled up my trench coat and passed out. Number seven, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. It seems to be a swirling vortex of pure evil coming out of your floor. If you're searching for a children's show that pushed the envelope, look no further than The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. One of the protagonists of the show is the Grim Reaper, literally the embodiment of death, who accidentally ends up eternally bonded with two annoying kids after losing to them in a game of limbo. Hey, you know very well that there's no soda in my trunk. Hilarity and creepiness ensue as they travel through various planes of paranormal existence, battling ghosts, monsters, and demons. Stay away from the chamber part of secrets, or else. The series was a hit with kids seeking unique and somewhat spooky entertainment, as it lasted six seasons on the Cartoon Network, an incredibly long run for an animated kids show. We're going to the circus! It's the greatest show under Earth! Number 6, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? He's gaining on us! 
Hit for the roller coaster! No matter when you grew up, you were probably exposed to some incarnation of the Scooby-Doo franchise, and it was pretty impossible not to fall in love with it. Let's vote on it. Mystery or pizza pie? Reach your right. Cut it out, you two. Full of wacky characters, scary monsters, slapstick comedy, and captivating mysteries, Scooby-Doo has all the adventure a kid needs to be entertained. I told you! Of course, it all started with the 1969 Hanna-Barbera series, which paved the way not only for the rest of the Scooby franchise, but also for every cartoon on this list. Hey, take a look at Scooby. He's really flicking up. I guess he's getting ready to put on the dog! Scooby-Doo pioneered the horror-themed children's show, and its status as a pop culture icon is impossible to refute. Jinkies! Blasted meddling kid! Number 5. Tales from the Crypt Keeper To get your day off to a screaming start, take a little wheat germ, or any other kind of germ you might like. This creepy animated series is based on the adult-oriented program Tales from the Crypt, which in turn was based on the 1950s comic books. However, the cartoon is far more child-friendly, with anything resembling blood and guts removed to keep kids and parents happy. Being an anthology series, Tales from the Crypt Keeper was hosted by the title character, a living corpse who introduced each disturbing story. Here's a spine-chilling saga about a bridge. A bridge young Eddie Gruff was terrified to cross. I call it the Brothers Gruff. The Crypt Keeper's appearance and the myriad of spooky tales became ingrained in the minds of 90s kids, despite its relatively short run, with werewolves, trolls, and other less traditional monsters bringing the scares. We're gonna be clam food! The show lasted two seasons initially, before being revamped in 1999 for 13 more spooky episodes. Smells good, uh, what's cooking? Nothing. Yeah. <gasps> Number four, Courage the Cowardly Dog. We interrupt this program to bring you Courage the Cowardly Dog Show, starring Courage the Cowardly Dog. Courage the Cowardly Dog was so strange, it's a wonder it got made at all. But we're darn happy it did. I have a bad feeling about this. Shown from a small pink beagle's perspective, we're taken through the nightmarish world in which he lives. And it is supremely unsettling, especially for children. Large, frightening creatures, often with supernatural leanings, constantly appear and threaten Courage's life. And that makes for an intense viewing experience that competing kids' shows at the time simply couldn't offer. Oh! Okay, dog, it's like this. You drive us to the bank, or the fat lady gets it, say. <gasps> There's a fan theory that Courage's world is not actually full of monsters, but that in fact it's the same as ours. And that that's just how our world appears to a timid and isolated dog. Looking back, that seems quite probable. With all your imperfections, you can do anything. <gasps> Number three, Eerie Indiana. Nobody believes me but Erie, Indiana is the center of weirdness for the entire planet. Erie, Indiana didn't last long and wasn't watched by many, but those who did get a chance to see it revere it to this very day. Please, ma'am, you gotta listen to me. I don't wanna be doing this. Stay right there while I call the police. Considered a sort of adolescent X-Files, the show revolves around a young teen that moves to the titular town where unexplainable events occur. What's going on here? Where'd everybody go? Hello? Hey, where is everybody? After the teen befriends one of the few normal residents, the boys team up to investigate the paranormal mysteries that pervade the 19-episode series. And you'll be back before, uh, uh, 9 a.m. Lost our time. And not one second later. Though geared towards kids, the show is known for its creative maturity, which could be seen in the writing and directing. It wasn't made to patronize kids. It was to heed their sensibilities. What are you talking about? Who are you? What's going on? What happened to my house? Number two, Goosebumps. We've been looking for you. This is Cardi Beck's head. Based on the monumentally successful book series, only beaten in sales by Harry Potter, the Goosebumps show is equally horrifying. Hey, Sarah, wanna play? 
Each episode is adapted from a different book, so we have dramatized versions of such classics as The Haunted Mask, Night of the Living Dummy, and Stay Out of the Basement, and the results are predictably unsettling. <laughs> As the king of children's horror, R.L. Stein had other Goosebumps-inspired shows such as The Nightmare Room and The Haunting Hour, the latter of which won several Emmy Awards, an obviously worthy successor to the show that terrified us first and terrified us best. I don't like this, Casey. I don't like it one bit. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. I don't think I'll be able to go. I had some bad pencils for lunch and they're sitting in my stomach like lead. Come on, Icarus, don't start this again. 256K. Memory! Ah! There was a ghost in the toilet! Number one, are you afraid of the dark? We're called the Midnight Society. For those brave enough to stay up and watch this show, we commend you. The series featured campfire stories told by a group of teens and tweens known as the Midnight Society. And these stories are nightmare inducing. Well, son, you're not dreaming. So, I guess that leaves us with something strange. <laughs> Dramatized to amplify the creepiness, these unconnected tales follow frightening ghouls that range from sinister clowns to living dolls to pool monsters. It looks like... It's... There were few topics the show failed to explore over its seven-season run, and it didn't sugarcoat anything. Because of this bare-knuckle treatment, Are You Afraid of the Dark gave kids of the 90s a nightmare they could share. And because of that, it may be the most terrifying kid show ever made. Do you agree with our list? I don't understand. I put my soul into my work. Which children's show scared you the most? There's no line in between the mask and your skin. There's no place I can reach my hand in. That's crazy. That's just crazy. For more nostalgic top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Sean, do you agree? Get the spooky boogie.